Today we're on page four of the chapter 12 chemistry one packet and we're going to be talking about limiting reagents. Often in chemistry the amount of product is limited because one reagent, which means reactant, runs out before the other. We'll take a quick example of this in everyday life just to see what this looks like. So let's go back to our bread and cheese sandwich analogy. The two breads plus one cheese gives one sandwich. Let's say you look at your house and you find out that you have, uh, let's say, eight slices of bread and you have six slices of cheese. Of course, you have no sandwiches to start with. So what we're going to call this is the initial. This is initially what you find in your house. It's what you have available. The question now is which one of these is going to run out first? So we're going to take each one separately. <clears throat> Let's bridge from the 8. So we do 8, it's little bridge, divided by 2 times 1 is 4. So we could make 4 with the 8. All right, so I'm going to write a 4 here just to see which one we want to do that's going to work. Okay, now we're going to bridge from the 6. 6 divided by 1 times 1 is 6. So you could make 4 or 6. So you have to pick the one that's least. You could only make 4 sandwiches. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to erase the 6 and we're just going to focus on the 4 and we know that the 8 is the one that ran out. <clears throat> so we have 4 sandwiches that are made. So now what we're going to do is call this the change line. <coughs> Excuse me. So we made 4 sandwiches because we used 8 slices of bread. So we used eight slices of bread. We made four sandwiches. We had zero sandwiches to start with. And now the question is, how many cheeses are we going to need to make the four sandwiches? So you could bridge from the bread, or you could bridge from the sandwich. So let's bridge from the bread. Eight divided by two times one is four. So we would need four cheeses, so minus four cheeses, to make the four sandwiches. And then when we're all done, the final line is what we have left. So we have no bread. We have two cheeses left over, and we have four sandwiches made. Okay, so let's review. This is initially what we had, eight breads, six cheeses. We bridged from each one to the sandwiches to see which one would run out first. We figured out the bread ran out, so we used all the bread. We made four sandwiches, and we just had to figure out how much cheese we needed, which was with the bridge four, and these are all our leftovers at the end. We're going to use the same concept now, but with chemistry and elements and compounds as opposed to bread and cheese. So the first thing we're going to do with this is balance it. So two hydrogens, one oxygen, two waters. And we're going to again bridge from each one to see which is going to run out first. So we're going to start with the hydrogen. Find out how much water you can make. So four divided by two is two times two is four. So we can make four moles of water with the hydrogen. Now let's figure out the oxygen. We can do 4 divided by 1 is 2 times 2. I'm sorry. 4 divided by 1 is 4 times 2 is 8. So we could make 8 moles with that one. So clearly the one that runs out is the hydrogen. So we're going to get rid of this 8 because we definitely cannot make 8. We could only make 4. So we're going to go and make four of these, but then that means we used up all the hydrogen, but then we have to figure out how much oxygen we're going to need, and that again is going to be with the little bridge. So we're going to do four divided by two times one is two. So we only need two moles of the oxygen. So hopefully what you're realizing is the change line is the stoichiometry line. This is the bridge line right here, the change line. That's the bridge. Whatever you see in the stoichiometry or bridge line is going to match the coefficients ratio. So this is 2 to 1 to 1. This is 2 to 1 to 1 in the little bridge. This is 2 to 1 to 2. So 2 to 1 to 2. The change line is always going to follow the correct ratios. And one of them is going to run out, either the 4 or the 4. In this case, it was the first one. So when we're all done, this is going to be a 0. This is going to be a 2 left over. And this is going to be a 4. 0.0, technically, should have put 4.0 here, and the limiting reagent is the one that ran out, that's H2. 
And just for vocabulary, this is called the excess reagent, the one that is left over. And of course, this is the product. It's what you made. Okay, let's go on to the next example. This is going to have a different balancing here. So when you balance this, you're going to have a 3 in front of the hydrogen. You're going to put 2 in front of the ammonia and a 1 in front of the nitrogen. So again, this is a little bridge. The change line is what follows the ratios. So let's see who runs out first. So 3 of these divided by 1 times 2 is 6. So we could make 6 moles of product with the nitrogen. However, with the hydrogen, it's 6 divided by 3 times 2, which is 4. So we could only make 4 with the hydrogen. Therefore, the one that runs out is going to be the hydrogen. So therefore, I'm going to erase the 6 because we can't make all 6 of these. Unfortunately, my eraser is not working. So I'll just cross it off. Okay, so this is no good. So we're going to make four of this, and we're going to figure out that um, the hydrogen is the one that ran out. So minus six for that. And now we have to figure out how much of the nitrogen we're going to need. So we're going to bridge from the six back to here. So six divided by three times one is two. So we're going to use up only two moles of the nitrogen. So when we're all done, we have one left over, none of this, and we made four moles of the product. So the limiting reagent was the hydrogen. Again, this is the leftover. It's called the excess, and this is called the product. Okay, let's balance the one below it. You're going to need to put a three in front of the water. You would put a two in front of this. NH3, and then you're going to need a 1.5 here, and of course then we double it, so that's a 4, this is a 3, this was a 1, so now it's a 2, and that's a 6. All right, we're going to figure out who runs out first, so let's do the ammonia, which is the NH3. Little bridge again for liters, so 16 divided by 4 times 6. 16 over 4 is 4, times 6 is 24. We're just bridging to the water. I could have bridged to either one, but just pick one. Okay, so I'm going to write 24.0 liters for the bridging from the ammonia. And then we're going to bridge from the oxygen. 12 divided by 3 is 4, times 6 is also 24. So the interesting thing is they both gave me the same answer, which means they both run out at exactly the same time which could happen. So you're going to use up all 16 of this. You're going to use up all 12 of this. Again, the change line follows the bridge, which is stoichiometry. You made 24 of this, and now you have to figure out how much of this you're going to make. And you're going to do the little bridge for that as well. So you're going to do 16 divided by 4 is 4 times 2 is 8. So this is going to be an 8.0. You could have done this bridging from the 12 as well. So if you did 12 divided by 3 is 4, times 2 is 8, still works out. And when you're all done, you're going to have 0, 0, 8, and 12 liters. So really, both of them ran out, and there is no excess. They both ran out. And of course, both of these are now called the products. You have two products here, this one and that one. And we're going to move on to the last one. And there's one little trick you have to watch out. Because first you balance this with a 2, 1, 2. But then you realize that this is all in grams. So you have to use the big bridge. You add this up from the periodic table. It's 2.0. Add this up from the periodic table. And it's 32.0. And add this up from the periodic table. And it's 18.0. So now you're going to figure out who runs out first. The change line is going to be the stoic line. Again, it's going to be the big bridge. So let's bridge from the 12. It'll be 12 divided by 2 is 6, divided by 2 is 3, times 18 is 54, uh, times 2 is 108. So you could make 108 grams of water from the hydrogen. Now let's try the 16. 
of oxygen. 16 divided by 1 is 16. Divided by 32 is a half. Half times 18 is 9. Times 2 is 18. So you could only make 18 grams from the oxygen. So therefore, you know that this has to be the right answer right here. You can't make the 108. So we're going to erase this. And I'm not able to erase, so we'll just cross it off. That's no good. And then we're going to take away all 16 of this. But now we have to bridge and find out, well, how much of the hydrogen would I actually use? So we're going to bridge over. So I'm going to do 16 divided by 1 is 16. Divided by 32 is a half. Half times 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. So I only use 2 grams of the hydrogen. And don't forget what we learned with grams, that they always add up on both sides. So 2 grams and 16 grams does add up to 18 grams, and that works. So then this is 10 left over. This is none. I made 18. The limiting reagent was oxygen. The excess was hydrogen. And again, the water is called the product.